How to tell if you are an organic chemistry nerd? Part two. 37. Alright, so we have, after taking a second semester of organic chemistry, identified more ways to tell if you have become an organic chemistry nerd. If you break a piece of base, uh, if you break a base and you try to use the pieces for a mass spectrometry test, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you're working on a jigsaw puzzle, and you, whenever you put two pieces together, you say that that is a deal of all the reactions, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you're in a grocery store and you say that the aisles are very spherically hindered and you can't get through, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. After taking your final, you stretch out, lay down and say, now I feel unstable as a benzene ring, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you refer to the very lazy people in your life as alkane because they simply never do anything, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you take a drawing class to practice drawing dienes and dienophiles in a dialed adverb reaction, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you fail that class because you spent all your time drawing resonance structures, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you are at a beach and it's a sunny day and you say that you're glad to be wearing conjugated systems, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you tell someone who offers you dessert you can't eat that because it's got more kcals than a cyclopropyl, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you're answer to every question and your explanation to every phenomenon in the universe is either resonance or PKA, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. Whenever you read about the Tacoma Narrows Bridge Collapse and you think that that just cannot be it, resonance is supposed to make things more stable, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you're giving advice to a young child who is doing addition problems and the one thing you tell him is that he has to put electrophiles on alkenes and nucleophiles on carbonyl carbon, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. You may need more help than he does. If you name your pets after functional groups, you might be an organic chemistry nerd. If you plan on spending your summer drawing the resonance structures of a vancomycin molecule, you might be an organic chemistry nerd and you might need to get out more. And, alright, that's it for our list. Just keep in mind, this is irreversible. you have become an organic chemistry nerd, there's no going back. So, you may as well go forward. Graduate, get your PhD, get a career in research, and start spreading this thing around to other people.